Welcome to the tutorial for using a Walden Doctoral Capstone template. In this tutorial, we will review where to find your program's page on the Writing Center's website and the resources on those pages, how to download your program's template, best practices for how to use Walden Doctoral Capstone templates, and where to find Microsoft Word assistance. You can use the Doctoral Capstone template for both your proposal and your final study, as the Walden templates help students prepare their document for final publication according to Walden and ProQuest specifications. Each program's template is available for download on the program page of the Doctoral Capstone Form and Style website. You can also find other relevant resources on those pages to help you write your study using APA style, including a Form and Style checklist. To find your program's page, choose Programs on the Doctoral Capstone Form and Style page. Then, choose your program. The Walden Doctoral Capstone templates include the required formatting elements for your study, as well as detailed instructions and examples of APA heading levels, tables, figures, and reference entries. Read over the template carefully, as well as the template's instructions in the margins or, for some programs, in a separate instructions document on the program page. For the purposes of this demonstration, we will be using the PhD dissertation template. However, each doctoral capstone template works in the same way. So if you are not a PhD student, the tips shown will work on the template you are using as well. This demonstration will cover how to view hidden paragraph symbols, copying and pasting into the template, style tags, and updating the table of contents. The first step, of course, is to download the template. To do so, go to your program's page on the Doctoral Capstone Form and Style website, in this case the PhD dissertation page, and click the template link. The template will download to your computer where you can then open and save it. First, we will talk about how to show paragraph symbols to avoid errors in the template. If you accidentally delete elements of the template, it can disrupt the formatting and cause errors in areas such as margins or page numbers. To avoid deleting anything important, make sure that all formatting is visible by turning on the Pilcrow button, also known as the paragraph symbol. You can now see things such as where the line breaks, page breaks, and section breaks are in the template. If you accidentally delete or paste over a page break, you can reinsert it. However, it is best to avoid doing so in the first place, and turning on the Pilcrow button will help you see where those elements are in the template and help you avoid deleting them. The next tip for using the template is how to copy and paste into the template. We recommend you start practicing with the template as soon as possible to save yourself time when preparing for final publication. You should develop a method of working in the template that works best for you. Some people choose to compose the text within the template itself, and others prefer to compose the text in a separate document and copy and paste into the template later. When copying and pasting into the template, make sure you do not delete or copy and paste over essential formatting elements, like section and page breaks. Having the Pilcrow button on will help with this, but you should also copy and paste in stages, section by section, rather than all at once. When copying in text from a document into the template, do not copy the last Pilcrow or paragraph symbol. You may lose some formatting details, but it's easier to restore those than to deal with formatting that is brought in with the information stored in the Pilcrow. Now that you've inserted your text into the template, you need to apply the appropriate style tags. Style tags are a quick way to correctly format headings per APA, but they are also how Microsoft Word knows which headings should appear in the template's automated table of contents. With this automated table of contents, Microsoft Word will automatically update your headings and their page numbers. So while style tags may seem confusing at first, it is worth learning how to use them to save you time in the end and ensure the pagination of your document is accurately reflected in the table of contents. To tag a heading, highlight the heading and open the Styles menu by clicking the downward arrow in the lower right corner of the Styles section of the Home tab. Then, choose from the available styles and apply to the text. Be aware that only APA Level 0, 1, and 2 headings appear in the Table of Contents, so only headings with those style tags will automatically update in the Table of Contents. Once you have inserted your content into the template and tagged all headings, body text, block quotes, table titles, if you have any, and reference list entries, it's time to update the template's automated table of contents. To do so, navigate to the table of contents, right-click on it, and select Update Field. 
you can update the entire field, updating both the headings and page numbers, or you may choose to update page numbers only if you haven't changed any heading titles since the last update. If your document includes any tables, note that the list of tables is set up in a similar way. For this to work, make sure any table titles have the style tag, Table Title. More instructions for this appear in the template or in the accompanying instructions document for some programs. While the template includes formatting guidelines and examples, the template itself is not the final guide for content. Be sure you are using the many other resources available to help you write your study. Follow the instructions of your chairperson and committee members to ensure your study's content meets Walden degree expectations. Use the program checklists on the Center for Research Quality's Office of Student Research Administration page to guide the content of your document. Your programs page on the Center for Research Quality's website is linked at the bottom of your programs page on the Doctoral Capstone Form and Style website. Visit the Writing Center's webinar archives for help writing your study. Note that the Writing Center does not offer Microsoft Word support, and there may be slight differences between what you see in this demonstration and what you see on your computer. For help working in Microsoft Word, we highly recommend using the Academic Skills Center's tutorials and appointments, which can help you learn how to do important things like insert a section or page break, use track changes and comment bubbles, and automatically insert a hanging indent. If you are not able to locate a formatting feature discussed here, or have trouble using the template, be sure to visit the Academic Skills Center's website, make an appointment, or send them an email at wordsupport at waldenu.edu. We hope you have found our tips for using a Walden Doctoral Capstone template useful. If you have any other questions about formatting guidelines in the Form and Style Checklist or any of the Capstone formatting resources, please contact editor at waldenu.edu.